Okay, so a client had brought me their computer. This is uh, while I was sick. Um, my voice was pretty much gone, so I did all this work and recorded the video without any commentary. So here I'm laying down a, a track. Took the side panel off there. Here I am pointing out the, uh, the hard drive and a solid state drive. All in one cooler there. Power supply, 850 watts. So what uh, what they tell me was happening is that uh, while they were playing a game, the video would just drop out, go black. But they'd still hear the game playing. And here's the graphics card they've been using. It's an RTX 3080. So what I'm going to do is uh, put this in the computer. They had brought it to me like this for, with the graphics card out of it. So I realized that um, the thumb screws were still in the uh, in the case, so I took those out. I've been seeing problems quite a few with the the latest um, 3000 series graphics cards. Um, I don't remember uh, uh, another series of cards that had as many problems as I've seen and as many problems have been reported um, online and in the press and all that. Um, it seems to do with uh, power delivery, like they're just drawing too much power and uh, the uh, the components they chose are, um, are not holding up to all the, uh, all the power. Okay, so I've got the card screwed in there. <clears throat> Voice is still not 100%. Alright, so there's, it needs three 8-pin PCIe power connectors. So usually it's 6-pins uh, it's plus 2 that you have to kind of jam together, which you'll see me doing here, and then you stick them in to the, uh, into the graphics card. They only go in one way. There's a little bit of plastic that keeps them from going in backwards. So you can't get it wrong. Okay, so graphics card's installed. Just need to hook up the computer. There's power. Mouse and keyboard. and a DisplayPort cable. All right, power it on. And that cable is going to my center monitor there. So you now here's Windows booting up. One of the things that he mentioned to me um, is that he couldn't get the graphics card to be detected or the NVIDIA control panel to install properly. He was having trouble just installing drivers. Um, and I found that when I booted up, saying that uh, the NVIDIA control panel needed to be installed. So what I did just first off is went to NVIDIA.com, went to the download section, and started downloading the latest driver. So it is a RTX 30 series, 3080. To get that going. While this is happening, all these things are being detected, and the NVIDIA control panel says it got uh, it got installed there. Um, I went back to uh, I think control panel here and looked. Yeah, and it's there. NVIDIA control panel. So it got installed. I think yeah, I give up on the download there. Don't need it because it is installed on the computer and it does pop up here and work. The camera kept changing focus on me on this one. I'm sorry about that. 
All right, so system information under control panel, and it's the it's the most recent version, the same one I was downloading. So that's all good. Right, so next up, I need to see if uh, if I can make the computer do what it was doing at the client's place. So that, I do a Google search for Furmark, and I go to geeks3d.com, and very carefully click on the right things um, to get it downloaded. Unfortunately, when you go to websites like that, a lot of things on there will be just advertisements meant to trick you into clicking on them, because uh, that's how the site makes its money. All right, but I'll download and run for Mark, accept, click through, and tell it to put an icon on the desktop so I can restart it when I need to, and launch it. Boy, that's annoying. Sorry about that, guys. I think it'll stop doing that here in a second. So it gives you a warning saying that this tool uses a lot of power and you, you're running it in your own risk. What it does is it, it uses your graphics card to render this basically furry donut. Um, tells you the CPU temp, the usage, the frames per second, all that good stuff. But really I'm what I'm using this for is to see if I can get the, uh, the video to drop out. I think I leave it for about 20 minutes and I come back to this. Um, no video, computer still on, and I press the keyboard a few times and move the mouse trying to get it to wake up just in case it put itself to sleep, but uh, now the, the video just dropped out. So that confirms the, uh, the issue um, here at my place, that the video did drop out with this graphics card in this computer. So the next thing I'll do is turn it off, and I'm going to take the graphics card out to see whether it's the graphics card causing the problem or something else in the computer what I'm going to do is take the graphics card out and use the uh, the built-in graphics uh, that come with the uh, the chip in the computer, the CPU, uh, to run Furmark. Actually, wait. This this CPU didn't have built-in graphics, so I went and grabbed a, a basic little graphics card. I know this thing works. Um, I use it a lot for for testing systems. So I put that in and looks like I have to use a VGA cable. All right, so I'm turning the computer back on. And I'm going to start up Furmark. But I realize the, uh, the graphics uh, for the, uh, the graphics driver isn't installed, so I'm right-clicking on Start and going to Device Manager to look. So it's a basic graphics adapter. I'm going to tell it to please update says it's already updated. Um, I'm just going to give the uh, the computer, I think, a, a minute or two here to to find. Okay, I'm going to start settings and updates. Found some updates, but nothing to do with the graphics card. I think here in a minute, there it goes. NVIDIA GeForce uh, 210. I just need to restart the computer to get the graphics drivers installed. Then I can run the Furmark. Okay, but I think I move on to the uh, to my diagnostic computer. So what I'm going to do here is put the uh, the graphics card that I suspect is having a problem into my diagnostic computer. There, I'm going to run the same test with Furmark and uh, see if the problem of the video dropping out follows the uh, the graphics card to my diagnostic computer. Okay, so I've got a basic little graphics card in there, so I'm going to take it out. Okay. 
To take out a graphics card, you have to kind of push down a little tab there at the base of the uh, of the slot as you pull. It's kind of a locking me mechanism. All right, so graphics card. So I don't remember if it fits right off or if I have to move a cable. This is like three weeks ago. Yeah, I have to pull that SATA cable out. That's for an extra drive. I mainly use my diagnostic computer for testing drives and doing cloning of, uh, of files and uh, file recovery. But it does have uh, enough power and the right connections for the most part to test graphics cards. It's a 750 watt power supply, which is enough for a 3080. Okay, so here I am checking my cables. <clears throat> so I've got two PCIe's that are six by two connectors. So I stick those two together to make eight and I do that a second time here coming up. But then I realized that my other two PCIe cables for graphics cards are only six pins. And this card needs three um, eight pin power connectors total. So I'm pretty sure at this point that I have an adapter over here, so I'm going to look for it. I have a few options here. So this one that I'm grabbing what it does is it takes two six pin PCIe power cables and gives you one eight pin, which is exactly what I need here. That one there would give me an eight pin, but by sticking together two Molexes, which are an older connector. And I don't know that that would have given me enough actual amperage, but the two sixes really should. So then you plug in the uh, the eight pin. That was backwards. Fixed it there. All right. So it's got all the power connectors it needs. I'm gonna turn on the main power there on the power supply, and then hit the main power button. I think there's a a cable up against the fan there. All right, well that boots up. I'm back over to the client's computer, launching Furmark. I changed it to a higher resolution there. Not really necessary, but I did it anyway. So there goes the, uh, the furry donut. And with the built-in graphics, the frame rate is much lower. Um, I'm not sure if you can read it there, but it's, it's like 10 frames per second. Okay. Back on the diagnostic computer. Get logged in here. All right, so it does not have the graphics driver loaded yet. I'm right clicking on start and going to device manager to take a look. So under display adapters, basic display adapter. I'm going to tell it to try and get the latest. It says it's already got the latest. Um, so if I remember right, yeah, it after a couple of minutes it updated itself. So that is, uh, that's with the driver loaded. Right clicking on start, going to device manager to check, and indeed RTX 3080. All right, so I think I already had Furmark installed on this computer. I've used it for testing graphics cards in the past. So Furmark, there's a new version, but I don't care. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. So there it is, uh, rendering the furry donut. I think I left it for a couple of hours, just basically coming back and checking on it for uh, every, like, you know, 30 minutes or something. And, yeah, okay, we're back on the client's computer. All right, so this is probably three, two or three hours later, the videos dropped out, the computer's still on, so that confirms that the problem of the video dropping out followed the graphics card. 
Another possibility uh, it could have been is the motherboard. I've seen that uh, that symptom happen with motherboards, but the problem following the graphics card to my diagnostic computer is pretty definitive. So uh, basically I told them to uh, get a replacement graphics card from either from the manufacturer or where they bought it from. And I don't remember which, uh, which they ended up doing, but they took care of it. Thanks for watching.